I'm still at the Adkins Arboretum where I've had a one-person show since the beginning of December 2011. Today's February 10th, 2012. And these look so nice. Howard and Mary McCoy and another volunteer at the Adkins Arboretum hung this work. And some of these, well, if you're watching this on YouTube, I don't know if you've ever seen this work in person. So I'll go in a little closer to see this cow. This is <laughs> not exactly a cow portrait, but based on a cow that I met at in Virginia when I was at the art colony there, Virginia Center for Creative Arts. This is inspired by a little bit of that marsh up at Cape Cod. And okay, I think I'll pan around the room and then get back over to where some more work is, I guess. I already showed some of these. Okay. It's a beautiful space. I'll go around. Okay. This is marsh music. Very musical, as you can see. It just feels like note after note, like a whole lot of 16th notes or 32nd notes or 64th notes or something. It just has a really, like a, a beat or a rhythm to it. So this is called Marsh Music, clearly inspired by a marsh. This is called Marsh Memory. I think I'll go a little bit closer. And actually I'll move a little closer so you can see there's a lot of texture in here. There's a lot of texture in all of these. I really don't like to work um, flat and glassy the way some people work in encaustic do. Actually, I don't think about the surface much at all. I really think about the content. So what you see as the surface is the result of me reaching for the content. And the content is not how it looks. Well, a little bit of how it looks but mostly what the experience was like to me to be in this space. So that's what I'm going for with content. And some of these require a lot of work and scratching and getting rid of things and working over. And some of them, like this one, was done at the end of a residency at Virginia Center where I had been working pretty much nonstop for almost 28 days, and I think this was the last piece I did, and it flowed out pretty easily. It's called Golden Waves, uh, inspired by the waves of golden wheat or whatever that was growing in Virginia. That's it. <laughs>